Hi, my name is Meggie Bonner and I'm a solutions engineer here at Plaid. And today we're going to talk about how to save money on Plaid by reducing duplicate items. So first off, what are duplicate items? A duplicate item means that the same end user has connected the same bank account credentials, their username and password, to the same Plaid application. Sometimes this is because the end user forgets they've already connected to that bank. They may believe they have to connect twice to get multiple accounts, checking and savings for example, or they may be trying to work around some error. But duplicates are a problem because they create repeated data on both Plaid and, and the customer side, and most importantly, because they're billed as unique items. This can raise your, pla your Plaid billable usage. How do you know if you have duplicates in your system? You can identify duplicates by determining if individual users have repeated combinations of institutions, account names, and account masks. The account's get endpoint can be used to pull this information if it's not already stored. Duplicate items will have different access tokens. Once you identify duplicates, you can use the item remove endpoint to delete. But what if you want to prevent duplicates from occurring in the first place? You can detect whether a user, an incoming end user, is creating a duplicate item by leveraging the on success callback. The on success callback will contain bank account metadata that you can use to verify whether or not the end user has already connected to your application with that account. You can use the account information in the on successes metadata to validate whether or not the end user has already connected the relevant accounts that you're there trying to connect now. Specifically, you can compare a combination of the account's institution ID, account name, and account mask to determine whether or not your end user has previously linked that account to your application. Other fields found within the account schema may also be useful. In addition to preventing end users from adding duplicate items, you'll want to make sure that you're keeping your items healthy by using update mode. If the user changes a password, if MFA requirements change, or if an item becomes locked, update mode guides the user through reauthentication. To use update mode for an item, initialize link with the public token for that item. Link will auto detect the institution and guide the user directly to re-log in. An item's access token does not change when using update mode, so there's no reason to repeat the exchange process. So that's it. That is how you keep your duplicate items from occurring and make sure that you're only paying for unique data on Plaid. Thank you so much and have a good day.